YouTube, welcome back to another video, man. It is your boy Mouse, man. And you know, I hope you guys had a good Halloween, man. We actually got a lot of candy, man. We're still eating it, but we're not trying to eat a lot because, man, that's so bad for you. But, man, anyway, so let's get back to our business. Finally made my decision on what we are gonna do, and I'm gonna show you why I made that decision with the apps. Quick little fun fact or a fun, you know, th something. Um, this folder right here uh makes us official youtubers and i want to give a big 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 shout out to everybody that is involved with the youtube channel man the mousetrap gang every single person that clicks and watches the video every single person that hits like subscribes drop the comments man listen you guys are the bomb.com i wouldn't have this folder right here making me an official youtuber if it wasn't for all you guys man all you guys i am gonna be forever grateful the journey has been rather difficult it has its ups and its downs we're starting to see real good progress with it and it shows me that you know we're doing something good um you know like it's been you know hard difficult you know everything but we're slowly trying to get the hang of it and with you guys backing me up 1000 percent like i see you guys i wanted to give you the most awesome thank you and soon hopefully soon i'm gonna be able to show you guys my appreciation man slowly getting there we're trying to uh tighten up a few screws i'm still trying to get the hang of a lot of stuff i'm not perfect it's not a perfect world but we can only try and keep working and make the best out of everything man so i appreciate every single one of you guys man the biggest concern of the build man has been the amps the amps not the build not everything man but the amps so this is part of the amps i still got an 850.4 that's probably the size of the Terra amps and the JB, JL Audio put together long ways. It's probably like an easy like 15 inches wide. Uh, probably like another like 8 inches um, tall. But anyway, so we got a MD3000 that we're going to put on 6 tenths in the back of the bed. We have my MD5000.1 that we are going to put on the subs. Uh, the JL Audio 650-4 slash is going to go for the 4 eighths um, mids and mids firing up on top of the bed and then we have my base doubler which is going to be this is like an epicenter it's going to be for the base biggest thing has been whether we should put the amps inside the cab or in the back of the bed you know that's been driving me crazy for the past like week two weeks and i actually slept on it last night and i think i finally made my I really sit. sat down and i figured out how many amps are going for what so there's actually going to be seven amps total and five out of those seven amps are going to be terra amps uh, which is awesome uh, and they're not going to be like big surfboard amps so they're actually you know small so we can put those guys in anywhere okay so i think i'm gonna go with putting the amps underneath the seat for a few reasons guys for a very very few reasons and this is why number one i really want to keep an eye on all the amps you know what i'm saying the more i can look at um lights uh be able to check fuses because the fuses i will make a nice little rack to put all the fuses on it so i can uh, easy to replace make sure like nothing's pinched and make sure everything's a thousand percent number one is me being to get good access to every single thing rca power fuses adjustments everything um, that's really number one part about it so we're missing a few amps from here that i ordered already and they should be here within a few days um, number one amp that we're missing is a terra amps hd 3000 that's going to be for the mid bass um, that one has um, full range, low pass, and high pass, so that's going to be good for that. It's a 3000.1, but a 2 ohm because there is four speakers at 8 ohm, so it's a 2 ohm compatible for our load that we're going to have for that. Next, we are missing a um, Terra Amps 1800.1 2 ohm amp that's going to be for the door speakers, the door panels, um, for the mids, and that one's a mid bass amp because we want that to play a nice mid-range sound and then we are missing a d a terra amps ds 250 slash one for the tweeters in the doors um and then we're missing um the 3.5 prv crossover and i think it's the 4.6 crossover that we're going to be using uh 3.5 is going to be for the inner cab uh, the 4.6 is going to be all for the bed so we can really adjust everything and make sure that we got good sound for everything what i would do is just build a rack uh, once we got all the amps uh you know in front of our face i can build a nice rack for it 
and you know the seat actually goes up pretty good up it has a good distance from the amp so i can like double stack them so fitment i'm not really worried about it once we get all the amps we can fit them on here um like i said number one i really want it underneath the seat so i can really keep my eye on every single thing and make sure everything's playing a thousand percent so if anything's clipping or goes into protect i can adjust address that issue right all the way number two although i love the terra amps man they got good sound and i love the way how they work but you know they are you know the MDs and the other ones, they're, they're, they, their technology could still use a little bit better, but, you know, it, they're still awesome. Uh, so I feel like if I would put them in the on top of the box, you know, with the base, that'll just rattle them way too much, and it'll probably mess them up. Same thing if I were to put them in the back of the uh, panel, like the floor, I feel with all the driving and everything, they would just like shake way too much and I don't want that. You see what I'm saying? I want them to be protected as much as possible, mounted down properly. Um, and I am gonna put uh, rubber grommets on it so they really like, you know, um, get nice airflow and so they're solid. Keeping the amps inside here, I feel that it would keep them cool. You see what I'm saying? Because we do have AC in the truck. It's, it's like a new truck, so the AC works perfect. Um, and so it's gonna be, you know, they're gonna stay cool as much as possible. You know, I'm making sure all the ohm loads are good. They're getting good power and everything so they don't overheat. Batteries are literally gonna be right here. So the wire runs are gonna be actually really short. So if I would put them like on top of the box or in the back, uh, I, it would require me to do so much extra wiring and run that much extra wire that I feel that, um, I feel the less wire, the better. That's less the current has to pass through. So it's gonna produce a lot better current. Um, and it's not going to like force current to pass through and just get them things hot. So I feel like they'll stay somewhat cool and run even cooler and we'll have less voltage issues. And then number three, you know, I do trust my tunnel cover. It does get locked, but you know, someone can actually just come with a knife, slice them open and just stealing the amps is not even an issue because everything can be replaced. But just the hassle of having to get a new tunnel cover having to fix this having to fix that um it would just be a disaster you know what i'm saying so i just feel that they would be a lot safer inside the bed of the truck i'm i'm not thinking about my amps are going to be stolen because what they want to steal they're going to grab but my thing is just the inconvenience of having to get a new tunnel cover having to replace panels in the back having to do this having to take time to do that you know like that i'm not down with that you know what i'm saying you know um i feel if someone really wants to get the the cram from the truck they're just going to try to steal the whole truck but, you know, it, it, what happens, happens. That's why we have insurance. I could care less of it. It's just the hassle and uh, the time consuming of having to replace this, having to call this guy to do that, waiting for someone to come do this or taking the truck to go do that. So that's, you know, I, I, I don't really, you know, want to deal with that. I feel that the best decision that I could possibly make is just put the amps underneath the seat. You see what I'm saying? Keeping a close eye on it, the inconvenience um, of, you know, if anything were to ever happen. And the other thing too, like having those amps enclosed back there and worrying about like, oh, I can't turn it up that loud because the amps are going to rattle this and that, you know, all the extra wires. So, you know, what current's going to get hot. And, you know, man, I, I want to be able just to play my truck and just jam it for hours and not worry about a thing, a, a darn thing. You know what I'm saying? If it blows, it blows. But I want it to blow for me getting on it, not because it was shaky power was getting hot you know stuff like that you know if it blows it's because i was getting on her you see what i'm saying that's that's my main thing with that you know i don't care if it blows from my you know um hard knob turning man but we'll see what happens in these next few days um like i said i ordered the other amps and i'm going to show you them when they drop when they come in so you guys can see all that but man you know it's gonna be a good one you know i can't wait till it gets done i'm sure you guys can't wait till it gets done drop down in the comments did i make the right decision guys you know i hope you guys don't you know get on me um but i just feel it's for the best i know the plexiglass and you know all this stuff will look nice but at the end of the day man you know we just want this thing just to play non-stop getting it you know what i'm saying getting it that's the purpose why we do these systems man just to jam them and you guys are gonna be a witness to it whenever i drop the videos uh, when we're out at the show and we're just playing on this thing for three days straight non-stop man non-stop you guys gonna see all the thinking um the science behind it and you know the creation when we drop this thing and it's in the streets jamming on people man. so once again amps underneath the seat number two shout out to every single one of you guys man we are official youtube uh channel man we got everything in order as a youtuber uh man you guys are the greatest ever mousetrap channel would not exist if it wasn't for every single one of you guys man i appreciate that and i'm gonna show you my token to your appreciation don't forget christmas is coming up we're gonna do some cool stuff for christmas man but with that being said man i'm gonna get inside it was a long day yesterday trick-or-treating 
I'm going to drop this video for you guys and drop some comments. Let me know what's good. And I'm going to catch you tomorrow because we are going to start working back on this, guys. Tomorrow you can see a big difference. I worked on it a little bit today, but I'm not going to show you. You guys have to sit there and wait till tomorrow and see what the progress that we got going on, man. But for today, man, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.